Hello friends. Welcome to the S3 Cloud Hub channel. In this video, we will discuss about what are the top 10 DevOps skills to learn in 2022. So without any further ado, let's get start the session. So on the top 10, I put Helm. Basically, Helm is a package manager for Kubernetes. Because Kubernetes is becoming so popular and the most adopted tool in the DevOps community. So to manage your deployment using chart. So I think Helm is one of the basic requirements to learn. And then on number 9, we have Ansible. I guess you already know that the Ansible is used for configuration management, and of course there are other tools like Puppet, Chef, but the Ansible has very easier, very convenient take in over all the other tool. And right now, this is one of the most commonly used configuration management tool. Then on number 8, I have put Terraform. So Terraform is used for infrastructure automation. At this point, people moving toward cloud, and they are trying to build immutable infrastructure, they would use more Terraform compared to other config management tool. And once you want to move from one to another, so you don't want to write your script all over, for example you are on AWS and you want to move on to Azure, so you need to create an infrastructure in Azure, so you don't want to rewrite it, for example you are on AWS and you have written cloud formation templates, the nonce you move to the Azure then you have to rewrite all the script. So instead you use Terraform and write your code using the fundamental principle of Terraform that is API as code. So by minimum modification you can get your Terraform script. So Terraform is another most important scale or tool for you to learn in 2022. Then we have Python. So you can use Python for scripting, automation, if you are on cloud, you can use for example on AWS you can use for writing Lambda functions, serverless application. If you already have knowledge on some of the framework like Django or Flask, then it even added an advantage. But for now I have put Python on number 7. Then we have GitOps. You people must be aware. In recent time GitOps getting lots of attention, and it's the buzzing word in the DevOps field. So GitOps is used for declarative CI-CD, where you can perform CI-CD using Git as a single source of tool, and you can do it declarative. You have many tools in the market, like Flux CD, Argo CD and others. So if you already know CI-CD, you should definitely give it a try, because more and more people are knowing the Kubernetes, so in Kubernetes you want your application to keep the state so you need to have a CI-CD tool that is very advanced. Now the next skill is having a solid understanding of Git. So preferably GitHub. Cause GitHub also has GitHub actions. It is becoming more and more popular by companies to use GitHub. And its competitor is GitLab. So either GitLab or GitHub would be accentual. But based on our research we have seen that the company or the freelancing world is asking you to show your skills, or show your experience with GitHub. Then on number 4, we have the cloud. So these are the top 3 cloud providers, and everybody aware of it, Amazon Web Services, Microsoft Azure, and Google Cloud. You can learn any of them, it is doesn't matter cause the underlying concept is same. Just the terminology is different. So learn any of them according to your choice, and then you will be easily able to learn the other cloud technologies. Then we have number 3, which is CICD. On number 6, I have mentioned the declarative CICD which is GitOps. But even before you need to understand the concept of CICD, and how do you do that? So predominantly, Jenkins was one of the top most used tools for CCD. But for now, you have lots of tools and you can even write your custom tools for CI-CD. So I am not going to talk about any specific tool here, but CI-CD as a concept is something that you need to learn. Then on number two, and it is the most important skill, which is the Docker. So you have to learn how to Dockerize the microservices, or how to create a Docker file, and multi-stage Docker. Learn the concept of containers. Start building your own container, Start deploying it in Docker. And try understand the overall workings of Docker. That way it will help you to understand the most important skill which is Kubernetes. Then the number one, 
and it is Kubernetes. You will see this skill as in any jobs for DevOps in these days. And without this skill, it is very difficult for you to get into your job. So Kubernetes is most important skill. And the way I would suggest you to learn Kubernetes is, try to learn one managed Kubernetes service. For example, if you are learning AWS, then try to learn EKS. If you are learning Azure, then try to learn AKS. And if you are learning GCP, then try to learn GKE. If you are new to the DevOps, then I would not recommend you to learn Kubernetes at the very first, because it needs some advanced learning. Like you need to understand the VM architecture, Docker architecture first. So keeping it on number one, it does not mean that you need to start from here. It only means that it is one of the most important and suggested tool to learn in DevOps. So if you have all these skills, then I think it is very easy to crack the DevOps interviews. So guys, that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. I will see you in the next lecture. If you have any question or any doubt, feel free to ask in the comment section below. I will answer you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Bye and have a nice day.